Look at this, guys. We have a nine legendary red deer and it is freaking out. That, my friends, is a diamond potential Eurobison. All right, and he is gonna die. Turn, my friend. Day, we're gonna see how difficult it is to find a trophy in Hirschfelden. Should I go for a hard shot? It's gonna turn for me. All right. We definitely got him. He's gonna give us some delivery. And down he goes. So I have been doing quite a bit of hunting in Hirschfelden lately. I am getting ready to put out the Hirschfelden Super Guide that should be out later this week. Quite honestly, I am really starting to enjoy this map and I'm wondering why have I not been hunting here more often? Now, there has been a few Hirschfelden videos gone out and based on the comments, a lot of people really do love hunting on this map. But there also are a lot of people who really don't like it at all. 243 and 270 is diamond. I think pulling a diamond out of a level 4 Euro Bison is going to be a very difficult thing. But, oh, I definitely need to aim higher for the heart. Heart's up high. Look at that. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you enjoy hunting in Hirschfelden or is it not a map that you visit very often and why? But I did manage to pull a diamond red fox off of this map, my first diamond red fox from Hirschfelden ever. Five years of playing this game, but in all fairness, I really haven't been hunting a whole lot in Hirschfelden and I have decided I am going to change that. Now it is definitely a thicker map, but I find that when you do pull trophies off of this map, they have quite a lot, at least for me, a better sense of satisfaction because they are tougher. Now, some people don't like to hunt here now because just about everything can be hunted on a different map. We can now hunt fallow deer in Te Awaroa. We can hunt roe deer in Quatros. We can hunt red fox in Yukon. But Eurobison, this is the only map for Eurobison. Another thing I'd like to do today is take out an entire herd of Eurobison with the rhino. We're gonna see if we can find a whole bunch of them, sneak up on them, and see how many we can destroy, make some cash, and have a little bit of fun. Let's go find one now. Okay, we have some Eurobison here, and there they go. All right. That's three. Oh, this is too much fun. Oh, and we have to reload, and the reload animation on the Rhino is very long. It takes a lot of time, but good thing for me, Eurobison are pretty slow moving. Okay, no speed running, what the heck? <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this tower. Now you have to admit, Hirschfelden is absolutely a stunning map. It is so beautiful. Looks like we destroyed that one. That's pretty cool. Might as well grab that one. We did get a double lung and that's gonna pay us $773. Not terrible. And we did get that one as well. We got quite a few based on the hunting pressure. We did all right. Good thing I have a tent over there. And I did get a vital on this one. So I'm actually using the Sunbird Rhino, which is a free handgun. It was a gift from EW for the fifth anniversary for Call of the Wild last February, and it should be in everybody's inventory. And it is super OP. It is a four to nine handgun, so you can use it on all kinds of different species. Double lung. 58 meters on that one, $836, not too bad. And I think we have one more down over here, and then we'll head over and pick up the rest. But a diamond Euro Bison, that is a tough thing to find. I have only shot one diamond Euro Bison ever, and it took me a very long time to find. And a beautiful shot there, just a level one, but look at the penetration from the Rhino. Pretty crazy, right? Okay, let's head back over here. I'm all over it, dog. I got it. Now, one thing I would love to find in Hirschfelden is a diamond red deer. I have never, ever shot a diamond red deer off of Hirschfelden. Ever! So, that is something we're gonna try and do 
There is a pile of red deer. Red deer basically drink everywhere on this map. They can pretty much be found on every source of water. If you're trying to find all your red deer zones, you need to look everywhere. And there is a lot of water on this map. A lot. Okay, we have a lot of bodies down. Look at that. So this is a great way to grind for cash. You are going to put a lot of hunting pressure on your map if you do do this, but like I said, bison don't move too fast, so usually you can take entire herds out. You can also do this with any bow with 600 green arrows, and it is a lot of fun. And that is our biggest one. That's our level three, $1,000 for him. I mean, it could be worse. $1,000 isn't too bad. It's not our best paying species, but when you take a bunch down, you're gonna make some serious cash. So that's where we found them, right down there in the bottom left corner. But you do have to admit, guys, look at this map. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the colors. There really is nothing that compares to the absolute beauty of Hirschfelden. It is thick. It definitely is more challenging, but I really think we should be giving it, we got some red deer over here. I really think we should be giving it more of a chance. It's not the best map for beginners, but for seasoned players, it is definitely more challenging. Now, what would you guys think if they added pheasants to Hirschfelden? That would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? I would love to see more species added to Hirschfelden. Maybe that would bring this map some more love. Okay, guys, we have a level two max weight diamond potential roe deer. Diamond for roe deer is 81.8. There is probably a decimal point that has changed in there, but that is basically what we're looking for. So this guy needs to die. Now I have the 243R Cuomo on me. So I have one shot and that's it, but I'm sure we can take him down. I'm gonna get as close to 200 meters as I can. He looks really nice, but I doubt he's big enough. But if not, we will send him back for a respawn. Actually, diamond roe deer are tough diamonds, even in Quattro. They are not easy to find. Now, I would much prefer a broadside shot. Maybe he'll turn for me. And I have no follow-up shot. I just get one shot and then I have to reload. Now, my very first diamond roe deer ever actually did come off of Hirschfelden. And man, did that ever feel good. I was so excited. And I've only ever shot the one diamond roe deer from this map. All right, I can only zero to 100 or 200. So I'm gonna zero to 100 and aim a little high. All right, here we go. We got him. That was a good shot. I think he's gonna, okay, he's not gonna float. That's good. And splat, he is down. I really love this new 243R Cuomo. It is definitely my favorite of all the new sidearm pistols. Which of the sidearms is your favorite, guys? Let me know in the comments and why. Now the Glock is pretty sweet too, but the 243 handgun is very practical. It zeroes up to 200 meters, so you can take even further shots with no problem, and you can put any scope on it, and it only weighs one kilogram. That makes it a pretty great addition to any loadout. All right, let's have a look at him. I don't think he's big enough. He sure is nice though. 77.29, nah, not even close. So diamond is 81.86, so he is over four points away. But he sure is a nice one. How'd you like to come back bigger for me, my dude? You can do it. I actually think roe deer are very cool. And that was a pretty sweet shot. It actually did not drop a whole lot, so that is good to know. The 243R Cuomo is pretty flat shooting. So this is where we found him right here, pretty much in the middle of the map. Okay, we have another max weight roe deer. This time it is not diamond potential, but we're gonna take him down anyway. Hope for something bigger to come back. This time we're gonna zero to 200. And that was beauty. Yeah, you can definitely tell he is not as big as the last one. Can't see his rack too well. It's definitely smaller than the last one. Ooh, I almost messed that up. That was a little bit too high. We did get thoracic, but we did also get left lung and he is a 72.98. So he has quite a ways to go, but he is a little wonky, isn't he? He is a wonky one. So this is where we are. We had three zones there for roe deer. It's just really far from any outpost. I actually ran up here from this tent but to get here from an outpost, I guess this is the closest one, Ruderstein. So dropping tents on this map is definitely gonna help you to get around. Look at this guys, we have a nine legendary red deer and it is freaking out. Look at the size of that beauty. I don't even have a, a weapon equipped, oh my goodness. 
This is ours, uh, 308. Come on, let's get it loaded. Number one. Is it gone? No! Man, that was a huge red deer. Okay, let me figure out where his zone is. You know, I have never shot a diamond red deer from Hirschfelden ever, ever. Pretty crazy. I think that's about to change. Yes, this is definitely his zone. This is his need zone indicator. All right. How far is it across there? Not that far. I'm going to go set up on the other side. That's what I'm going to do. Well, look who has shown up. 226 to 272. He looks absolutely beautiful. And we have a perfect shot here. Now I'm using the 308. 243. So I'm going to zero to 150 and aim just a little bit high. We should be good. Should be good. Here we go. Oh, you're beautiful. This will be my very first, if it is a diamond, and it should be. This will be my first diamond red deer from Hirschfeld, and I have never killed a diamond red deer off of this map, ever. But I am trying to hunt here more. All right, here we go. Beauty, we got him. And off he goes. And he is down. All right, we have some running to do. It's gonna take me a while to get to him. Okay, that was a very long run, holy. But here we are. Oh, look at him, what a beauty. And he is a big old diamond, 250 meter shot, 266.05 and 251.07 is diamond. And that is my first diamond red deer from Hirschfelden ever. Pretty crazy. This is where we found him, Spreeberg Lake. And that is amazing. So that was a pretty sweet hunt. I really didn't expect that to happen. And I kind of feel like this is more special of a diamond red deer because it came from Hirschfelden than if I were to get it off of New Zealand or Quattro because Hirschfelden is a tougher map. But that was a sweet hunt. I definitely am going to encourage you guys to hunt more in Hirschfelden, but you guys can go ahead and click into this next video that YouTube is recommending for you, and I will see you guys in the next one. He is a beauty. Take care, guys.